What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very unique and a little bit different cover 3 beater than you might be used to seeing out of the Gun Bunch in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click subscribe and turn on those notifications as we upload videos every single day that you're not going to want to miss on your way to becoming the best man player you can possibly become. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about the play Z Spot and Go as a cover three bomb play and something that I think is super unique uh, in Man 22 right now. But before we get in too far into the video, I want to highlight my text message membership. If you guys don't know about my text message membership, I want to take just a second here and kind of explain a little bit about what it is and why you might care. Um, and basically what it is, is it's a way that I release free 100 percent free to you uh char or free of charge madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks or offensive and defensive guides to my community the best way for you to get better is to get a guide and the way that you get them completely for free is simply text the word madden to 208-218-6900 again you want to text the word madden to 208 208- Two one eight six nine zero zero. That's going to get you those guides sent to you throughout the Madden 22 season. Uh, whenever we release a free guide, we're going to send it right to you. Those guides are guides I would be comfortable charging with, but it's something that I wanted to provide to you guys completely for free. Um, and so if you want to get access to that, again, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Okay, guys, so I want to go over this little uh, Z spot and go play. And this is a really unique little play, and I just want to snap the ball and show you what's going to happen here. So this little route to the circle receiver, we don't make any adjustments whatsoever, but if we just pass it this to the left, you're going to see this is going to bomb cover three over the top for a one-play score pretty much instantly. They're going to have to use her this route. And what's really cool about this is we can actually put one little hot route on uh, the field that I think is going to make this even better. And what I like to do as far as that additional hot route is I'm just going to take the X receiver, and I'm going to streak, this, streak him. And what you're going to see is not only we're going to have that cover three bomb, but we're also going to have a nice little cover three beater on the right side to the fan favorite Z spot corner route that has been really good in Madden for the last several years. So not only do we have that Z spot corner route that is so effective, but now we have, I believe, one of the best cover three beaters in the game because what you're going to see is there's just they're not going to cover it. There's no one around him. And as you can see, this is going to run wide open over the top for a one play score. Now, it's not only good against uh, cover three, but also happens to be that this is a very, very good concept for, you guessed it, cover two. Why? Because we're putting the, the deep vertical defenders in a lot of conflict. Take a look at this X receiver. Watch that deep half. And now what you're going to see is this square receiver is going to sit on the sideline and basically be wide open for several, several yards. Okay. The other thing that I like about this is not only is it a great cover three bomb, but let me show you what it does to match coverage real quick. What you're going to see, what happens to match coverage is that X receiver is going to run over the top. And again, Brady might have just missed the throw by a second. But because we put that streak on the field, what you're going to see is against cover four quarters, that little spot and go is going to really glitch that match defenders out. You're going to have one of the two. You're either going to have the, 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 um, the spot and go or you're gonna have the other routes, okay? And one little pro tip for this is you just motion this out just a, just a little step. That little baby motion right there uh, really is gonna do a good job. And again, Brady, I'm getting bum rushed out of here. I wanna also give you some tools uh, if they blitz you. So if you get blitzed out of this, this is actually really good against the blitz. The reason why is because you have a table route. I've been talking about it all year. The table route to the short side of the field is one of the glitchiest routes in the game this year. It beats man, it beats zone, it beats everything. So not only do you have a very vertical style of passing on this play, but you've got this really, really great little underneath pattern that you can check down to really whenever you want. And not only do you have that, but again, I want to go back over Tampa 2 for just a second. I want you to watch this R1 receiver absolutely torch cover two to the sideline. That corner route is so good. It's going to get open against every single coverage in the game. Uh, I haven't found a coverage in the game that that's going to cover um, that route yet, at least in my opinion. And if you take a look at R1, once again, that's cover three. And as you see, it's getting open against cover three. It's getting open against cover two. It's now going to, and we're going to show you here what happens to the cover four drop defense. 
So if your opponent runs something like a cover four drop, just watch what happens here. You're going to see that that circle receiver, when you pass lead it right through the deep blues, you've got a one play score almost against the cover four drop. So you've got basically a dot against cover four, you've got a dot against cover three, a dot against cover two, and a dot against um, really anything. This is all the while, I really want you to understand this power that really exists within this table route. The table route is so good. It's really where you wanna be looking first. You know, it's really the first thing you wanna be looking at. Just can I throw the table route, yes or no? And then the other thing that I like about this, um, at the, about this play is the C route on the play is actually a really good play or really good route uh, to use against a variety of different types of coverages. Um, and then you also have this circle receiver on the spot route. Now, the spot route is really important to understand. It's actually um, something that I think is very effective against press man-to-man. -man. So if you're facing a lot of press man, this could be something that's really good because it's gonna do a little shimmy just like that. And then he's gonna kind of get over the top. Now, if you get that coverage, like that man coverage can actually sometimes bag this, but it only bags that one route. You still have three other routes on the play that beat man, one of which is your corner route. You're gonna see, look at how much separation that corner route gets. That's an absolute laser against man coverage. So you've got your corner route that's really good. This really is not a play designed, again, for man. This is something that's really good for cover three, specific cover three zone. Your C route is, is okay against man. I find it to be fairly consistent. Um, so you can hit that C route if you wanna hit the C route. Uh, one last thing I wanna go over though is against cover three, and in particular, I wanna really hit on the fact that this is a cover three beater. So all we're gonna do, like I said, is streak the X, give this guy just a little bit of motion, just like that, and watch circle. C route is gonna hold, pass lead this to the left side, and you're gonna kill cover three. No one in their right mind is gonna expect that to absolutely kill cover three, but as you can see, it certainly does. Now, a little trick or a little something that you can do on top of this uh, to make this even better against cover three, if you're not really worried with throwing the corner out, this is gonna really host uh, or force your opponent to have to kind of stay underneath with his user. All we're gonna do is we're gonna streak the R1 and we're gonna put the X on a in route. Same little motion, but now the X is gonna hold the user. You've still got your shake route and now your shake route is even more open than it was before over the top, maybe make a move, and as you can see, you've got an absolute dot. This little Z spot and go route is really, really glitchy and really, really good this year against cover two, or uh, I'm sorry, against cover three. Um, you don't even necessarily need that tight end vertical. I wanna show that as well. For example, if you wanted to put, like let's say you wanted to put um, the tight end on an in route, and then you wanted to put the, you wanted to leave the corner route, you certainly can do that. Um, You'll see here again, watch the corner route will still pull that safety to the left and you'll still be able to bomb this. Um, and that might be better for holding the user because there's no vertical route. They're not gonna think, oh, I gotta go get this, but they actually do. So this is a really, really good cover three bomb in this game. So if you're struggling to beat cover three, which I think cover three honestly is probably the best coverage that uh, you can get from a zone perspective, at least at this point in the year, I would really recommend trying this out. Um, this can, as we showed you, this can also bomb cover four. And I think cover four, you're gonna see a lot of people, myself included, probably basing out of a cover four defense. And the biggest reason why is just because we don't know, we don't know what else to do. Uh, defense is very difficult as far as the coverage goes this year. Um, but again, you can see here, just pass lead him to the left and you've got a nice little pocket. If I secure catch that, that's a catch. So. Anyways, this little play right here is really good against cover three. If you're struggling to beat cover three, try this play out. We really never ran this play as a cover three bomb, but I think you're going to have a lot of success with that route. It's really hard to user that in this year's game, and I think you're just going to have a lot of fun with it. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn more about how you become a better Madden player and you want to get my free offensive, is, offensive and defensive guides that I'm going to be releasing throughout the course of the Madden 22 season, Text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Thanks for your time and your support. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys on stream later this evening. Make sure you're subscribed so you know whenever we go live.